Hi everybody, this is just a short video just to take you through the process I've developed for working with Espresso on the DeLonghi Dedica. Um, when I started out, I found it quite hard to find information about how to get decent shots out of the Dedica. So this is just an aim to show you what I found that works and hopefully it'll help you uh, to get started with the Dedica and getting some, some good coffee out of it. Now clearly I've, I've gone with a slightly more expensive grinder of late, uh, Eureka Mignon Silencio, but actually I started out with a Harrier Skerton. And to be honest, I don't think the difference is, is massive with the machine as it is. There is definitely a difference, more consistency, but I don't think it's a make or break thing if you've got a less expensive grinder. I tend to find that most of my shots come out within that range on the grinder between 0.5 and 1.5, depending on the beans and the age of the beans. And I tend to find darker roasts work better. The, the lighter the roasts, uh, the more chance there is that things are gonna go a bit wrong. So when I'm grinding, I'm tending to aim for about 15 grams, and that's largely to do with two things. One, the basket, which takes up to 18 grams, but if you go with 18 grams, it overfills the basket. But if you go with less than 16 grams, the baskets do taper slightly, and so the tamper tends to get stuck when you're trying to tamp it in there. Now, one thing I have found really important with the Dedica is getting the temperature right. So both heating the machine before starting, but also just making sure the portafilter's hot. Now I'm doing that with boiling water because I think actually running two blank shots as I might have done in the past doesn't actually get the portafilter hot enough and even leaving the machine on for half an hour doesn't really seem to have much of an impact. Also I'm impatient, so this just helps get there a bit quicker. Once I've got that, it's a case of just putting the coffee into the basket. And as you can see, when you're putting this in there using this uh, very high tech funnel solution, the coffee fills the basket to just about a nice level for smoothing off. Lots of small taps, I tend to find settles the coffee really nicely, makes quite a big difference to the outcome. I use a distribution tool to get it flat, but to be honest, I don't think it makes an enormous amount of difference. It's just because I quite like it to look flat before I start uh, using the tamper. So it's not something I'd necessarily go out and invest in again if I had the choice. Tamping, just a fairly light tamp really, certainly not 20 pounds of pressure. Um, and actually you can see the tamper getting stuck in the porta filter here because it tapers. So it's a fairly light tamp, which just gives us that nice flat surface to work with. Once I've then got the coffee into the porta filter, I just run one more blank shot to make sure the shower head and the group head are all getting up to temperature and all ready to go. And you can do two shots at this point instead of one, but again, it just depends how much time you've got to spare. And once we've got that in place, we're ready to go ahead and pull the actual shot itself. Once the whole system's ready, cup underneath, portafilter in. The only problem with this portafilter is a bottomless, it doesn't really make a difference, but my this bottomless portafilter undoes itself, so you do have to hold it in place, which is a bit annoying. Once things are going, we find that within about 10 seconds, I've shortened this sequence slightly, but within about 10 seconds, we're getting a decent amount of uh, espresso coming through. And I aim really on the Dedica for about 38 to 42 seconds as the zone, rather than the usual 30, and I tend to find that makes better coffee. One thing I will say is when I've done these with 18 gram baskets or 17 grams or even 16 grams, the 15 bar pump seems to break its way through the puck um, and it, it ends up channeling and ending up with some pretty horrendous coffee. So the result of all this, uh, as you can see, is not an outstanding coffee, but it's a decent coffee and it's fairly consistently decent. I would say one of the big things about this is that I have a hit rate now of around 70% of my shots being either good or better. Some are great, some are just okay. Um, but before I was probably getting a hit rate nearer 50% or even lower and having to throw out quite a lot of sour shots. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you'd like to ask me any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'd be very happy to get back to you. Cheers.